Me and my niggas, we bought it. We don't do no talk. I see it, I want to bought it. Hey what's up guys, it's Naval here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to use PowerPoint to be able to make YouTube thumbnails or overlays or anything you really want to. I'll basically be teaching you guys how to make one of my thumbnails in this video because you guys have been asking for it forever. So this is what the final product should look like in the end. As you can see, I can move whatever I really want to um, just because this is what it would look like. but. This is what the final product will look like and I'm gonna show you guys how to get here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up a new PowerPoint real quick. Um, just open this up. Personally, I'm using PowerPoint 2016, I think it is. And we're just gonna remove these two to start, zoom out just a tiny bit and just have your workspace completely cleared. So for this game, I was using the HVK on Stronghold on Black Ops 3. So I kind of clarified everything. As you can see, I have the HVK right here and then I have Black Ops 3 and then I have Stormfront and then kind of like the name of the uh, series. So as you can see, the base is Stormfront. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and look up Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Stormfront or whatever kind of thing you're looking for. Like, okay, let's uh, look up Combine and then you'll get like screenshots of Combine and stuff. Like here, you could use that one if you were ever playing on Combine. But we're gonna start with this one and we're just gonna come here and copy and paste it um, and then just drag it into this. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit. This is what your uh, thumbnails will look like so far. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to add in the HVK. So as you can see, I have a small thin black outline on the HVK, and then I have a white outline so it makes sure it pops and everybody can see what gun you're using clearly. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go over here and look up HVK. Uh, you can look up Call of Duty Black Ops 3 HVK, Call of Duty HVK PNG. Make sure you have PNG in there because as you can see, there's a little checkered like box behind this. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste it. Oops, wrong one. We're going to copy and paste it into here and make sure you press the center one because see if you press this, oh, if you press that, you're going to get a black background. That's not what we want. Just make sure to always um, paste the middle one and then we're going to have this now. It looks pretty decent. And we're just going to crop it out to where we want it to. So I want it around right here, I guess. And then we're going to keep it right there, I guess, whatever. And then what we're going to want to do, just to keep our workspace very clean, we're going to want to crop this to the very side. So then that's what it looks like right now. So now we have this. We're going to want to go over here to picture effects. We're going to go down to glow and then glow options. And then what we're going to do is go to color. And then you're gonna to wanna to press black or whatever you guys want to outline this as because it's gonna outline the actual photo, not the uh, like here. If I go ahead and do picture border, see how it does the border of the actual like frame of the picture. We don't want that. We want to be able to like uh, outline the, the, the picture, I guess. I don't know what the fuck to say. But anyways, we're gonna to wanna to bring this down to about, I don't know, let's go with five. Four. Let's go with four. And sadly, since PowerPoint is not supposed to be a photo editor or anything like that, you can't add two different outlines on the same image. But what you can do is you can copy and paste it and make sure you go to the far right one. So then you actually get the black outline there. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to glow again. So how you do that again is picture effects, glow, and then glow options. And then you're going to go over here to the white and just let's leave that at 10. And then we're going to want to get rid of that and put this in the corner. Now you still see that black outline right there and you'll see that actual in the actual picture. So what I usually do is I usually go to crop and then I just crop that little black out um, just so you can't see it in the outline. So it looks even better. And now you can't see the white outline or anything like that. And that's voila your HVK 30. And as always, you can come over here to color corrections. You can make it really bright or really dark, however you want. You can even change the color of it, like green or blue, if you're doing like a Hulk or something set up. Or if you wanna make it very colorful, I don't know what you want to do, but it, you can just basically like add color corrections to your picture. Now the next thing is something that really pops out to me is the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 logo. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna come over here and look up Call of Duty Black Ops 3 logo PNG. Make sure you have that PNG in there. So we're just gonna go with this white one. It doesn't really seem like anything's there, but if you actually look closely, you have the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 thing, and then you obviously have the orange like symbol. That's like the only thing that you can see. And you have that checkered background in the background, checkered thing in the background. I don't know what I'm saying. 
But anyways, we're going to want to come over here to Glow Effect. You're going to be using Glow Effect a lot when you are photo editing and stuff in PowerPoint. So you're going to want to put that to, I'd say, a good solid six or let's go with eight for this. Um, so now we can see that even better and whatnot. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that like right here and then see that little red dotted line that goes straight down the middle. That's how you know that your uh, picture is basically like straight down the middle of the uh, actual like thumbnail so it can even look even more professional so what we're going to want to do is we're going to put that right there it looks completely fine so we're going to want to do is we're not going to want to copy cut or anything like that we're going to want to save this image so i'm going to save it in the video since there's nothing there so we're just going to save it right there um, as you can see right here how it says PNG, remember how I was talking about the PNG where you got to type that in with the HVK and the logo? Um, that basically adds no background to the actual picture, so we're going to want to save that right there. And now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to grab like a shape or something. I personally like um, uh, what you call it, uh, the squares just because they're easier to work with. And what we're going to want to do is see how we have this and then we're going to go over to shape fill granite and then more gradient or gradient and more gradients and then as you can see you can't really add an image into a picture unless you go over to here the picture or texture fill and now what you can do is you can like go to clip art or something like that as you can see we have that because that's the last thing that we copy and paste it but we don't want that we want the png file so there's no background in it and then we're going to go over here to video where i saved my actual picture make sure you remember where you saved your pictures and we're going to have this. So now we're going to make it the same size as this one. And I'll show you in a second why. And make sure you get rid of your shape outline because that just looks terrible. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab this one in the corner, any corner that you really want. And make sure you hold down shift. So when you hold down shift, it doesn't like move like the top more than the like side or anything like that. So it stays symmetrical and it looks really nice. And then we're going to, and then what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to make sure it's like centered down the middle. And then we're going to want to make sure it's centered across the actual call of duty thing that we pasted before this one. If you know what I'm trying to say, so you can see that there's a red dot going or a red dotted line going this way and a red dot line going this way, as you could hopefully see in this picture, as you can see, like right, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm pointing at right here. Um, we're going to want to send that to the back and then we're going to want to send this picture all the way to the back again. So now we have that perfectly like spread out and whatnot. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to here again. I'll show you how to get there again. So shape fill, gradient and more gradients. And then we're going to want to bring this to a transparency. So it's barely visible, but you can see kind of like a shadow of this Call of Duty Black Ops 3 thing. So it looks actually really sexy. The next thing that we're gonna wanna add is a nice little picture. So you can see right here, I have this little picture right there and it looks pretty nice. It just adds a little like effect to the actual like background picture of the storm or stronghold. I keep on calling it Stormfront. The stronghold picture, it adds a little like texture effect to it. So once again, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna get a shape and just basically do the whole entire picture just like that. Again, we wanna go here to uh, picture and texture fill. And now we're just gonna pick whatever texture we want. So basically what I normally do is I just look up cool textures HD and I scroll through this and I just find whatever I want. Here's one that I would normally use. But for this one, I'm gonna use the, norm, the one that I did use. So we're gonna to wanna to go right here to this. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. And now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to bring this to a very bright color. So then once we bring this down to a small gradient, you're just gonna see a little bit of it. Bring it to, let's go with 85, I guess. We're gonna to wanna to send that to the back, send that to the back, now we're going to want to send this to the back. So now the Call of Duty, you know, like like a shadow thing that we created that has an opacity to it is now behind that little picture that we just made that has a little texture effect on the shadow effect of the Call of Duty Black Ops thing. I know you know don't know what I'm talking about, but this thing right here in the background, as you can see on my mouse, this thing is behind this picture that we just put in. So that has a little texture effect to it too. I should have just worded it that way. Damn, that was so much easier. Make sure to get rid of your outline because then it just looks stupid. And as always, you can miss with your uh, transparency. We're gonna bring this down to a 90. And the last thing for this is, as you can see, Lone Warrior. 
the pretty much the title of this series so what we're gonna do is we're gonna well first off I gotta find that's Call of Duty all right so what we're gonna do is we're just basically gonna recreate now what you gotta do is just in a normal PowerPoint go over to text box and just type in whatever you want so now we have warrior just typed into this small little box and now what we're going to want to do is normally I change it to red because I don't really use the color red in my thumbnails. If you guys haven't already like tell or could tell, I don't really use it. So it pops out the most. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to change the font. But as you can see, I have so many different fonts for so many different things that most of you guys don't have this. So if you wanted to, you probably couldn't use the Call of Duty Black Ops or the Call of Duty or call of ops duty text font whatever but you can always download those from like free font like websites or whatever and I'll I'll try to remember to link call of duty ops uh, or call of ops duty I keep on forgetting that font in the in, in the description so now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to bring that to a, a visible kind of like thing and now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to go to text effects scroll all the way down to transformation and then go to warp and click the very first one labeled as square. So normally when I try and recreate uh, thumbnails, normally what I do is I copy and paste the actual thumbnail that I'm trying to recreate into my PowerPoint and I bring it to full size. Wait, hold on. Let me bring this to the front. I just try and like copy it to like my best of my ability. So what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly that. So now we're gonna bring this right here. We're gonna bring this all the way over here. Raise this up a bit. So now that looks decent right there. All right, perfect. Bring this down just a slight bit. I'm not gonna make it perfect. But anyways, you can see what I'm getting to. Um, so now what we're going to do is I am going to figure out what color this is and how I like the color of this text right here. Um, the way I do that is I go to text fill and then I go to eyedropper So that's basically gonna pick up whatever color I want it to and that's gonna pick up that color So now we're gonna move that all the way back down to where it was before to a certain degree And then we're gonna go to text outline just bring that up Maybe go to like I don't know like a three or two or whatever uh, Try not to try to avoid like one and a half try and go with two and two and one fourth or above because if you go with the one and a half and below, it's very hard to see um, in thumbnails for YouTube. It's just, it's a bit thin. So we're gonna go with three here. Um, just move that just the slightest a bit, just to try and like get it to look halfway decent. Um, but anyways, we're gonna wanna go over to here to insert again, text, uh, loan. I typed in love. Yeah, I'll never find one in my life. Damn, that was dark. So for every thumbnail, you're not gonna get the correct text every single time. But luckily I created this so we're gonna go to brush script STD yeah that's the name I'm not the creator of it we're gonna go over here to eyedropper once again and then click that and then usually I create the, uh, uh, the weight of the text the same as the one that I had before so it was that that was a three and this is a three so this looks like a just black text but when you do the transformation thing again so go all the way down here to warp and now we have the text box, which actually looks pretty bad right now. But if you raise this up, just the slightest a bit, bring this over here, bring this down, and make sure to use your arrow keys too at times. That really helps out with uh, positioning. There we go. Seems pretty decent to me. Now we're gonna get rid of this, and bam, we have something along the lines of that. I mean, I created this in what, 15 minutes, and I created this in 45 minutes that looks really nice and this looks eh, halfway decent but yeah you guys in this tutorial uh, basically I showed you guys how to outline the little things and I showed you how to save a picture as a PNG without the background I showed you how to change the opacity of a picture I showed you guys a bunch of different things and hopefully you guys got something from this if you guys want me to do other things on PowerPoint like how to create a twitch overlay or YouTube overlay I could definitely do that shit too so yeah, guys hopefully I answered a bunch of you guys' questions if you guys have any questions on how to do anything in PowerPoint because I, I like to think of myself of a as a PowerPoint master because I've been using this for how many years I don't know but if you have any questions make sure to leave it in the comment section below so you guys please comment subscribe thank you guys for watching this video see ya bye
I was cooking DJ niggas with the wrist so. I keep a bad bitch with a stomach so oh. Ain't a hoozy, but I super so oh. Key and ignition, need an engine runner Trying to heat up, beat up any nigga front And miss you fucking with me like what I'm becoming Yeah, the thing poking shape like a pumpkin I'm a parasite, serve you like a dumpling on that 